Second Life Studios started about three and a half, four years ago with a couple of us who had both a passion for building and a passion for creating public space. And so it's now the three years later version of all of our experience and then just the growth of our team. And now we are a high hospitality design build firm that works primarily with restaurants, hotels, coffee shops, basically great places to drink and eat. We've seen design change quite a bit, even over the young life of our company. We now see higher education for people in the high hospitality restaurant world where they go, well, actually, I need to think about my environment as early as I'm thinking about my menu. Because even the environment where you're eating or drinking or, or spending time actually influences your memories just as much as the food does. So when we first meet a client, we try to set roles and expectations. In our company, we have three hats. We either design, we design build, or we build. And from the first meeting, we decide what hat we're wearing. Every client's different, whether it's a hotel or a restaurant or a small boutique retail operation. Uh, knowing where we fit in for the client success is step one for us. One of the more recent restaurants that we got to be a part of a team that opened was Rock Hill Grill down in the crossroads here in Kansas City. Some great clients of ours from Back Napkin came to us and said, hey, would, would you work with us on this? And they're a, such a fun client because they have really clear vision of what they want their spaces to feel like. We opened up the Rock Hill Grill in August of last year. And our concepts that we have right now are classic American grill concepts. Uh, we like simple, straightforward menus with great food, uh, classic cocktails, good beer list. We were introduced to Second Life back in 2014. They were doing projects for some other restaurants and we really liked their work and so we got in touch with them and have since used them on every project that we've done. They do tremendous work for us and could be happier with them. I would describe the aesthetic at the Rock Hill Grill as being a modern classic. We worked with Second Life on making an interesting space with relevant materials and timeless materials. Everything on it has a kind of a tribute to years gone by, but with the refineness, the clean lines, the edges, the lighting. They wanted to create a warm, a little bit more refined, but a clean look, uh, but also classy. So there's kind of these diametrically opposite things that came together. We did that through material choice, lots of brass, lots of walnut, but then some computer uh, CNC materials as well. So there's some like really beautiful geometry, clean geometry in there too. They do an incredible job, Second Life, of interpreting our vision and putting it on paper and making it happen in the restaurant. Okay, Chris is going to take me on a tour of the shop. I think it's about time we see where the magic happens. So in our office, we have two big areas, the design studio and then the fab shop, the build side. The design side, these are the people that once we come up with a concept, whether we come up with it or it's client provided or we're working with a third party, we create those documents that enable the things to be built. Going out to the build shop, we have finishing, woodworking, and metal. In general, we try to have the shop set up so material comes in, it gets processed, milled, cut to size, and then the finished side, everything kind of gets finished and goes out the back dock. So this is the metal shop. metal shop. Ironically, cleanest place in the entire building. <laughs> These guys are surgeons. Uh, so this is kind of a packing and shipping room. Well, these guys are wrapping giant Christmas presents. <laughs> yeah, so that's the shop. I love a, it. A loud, dirty shop's a good shop. I love the feel of it. Why do you think people are coming to you rather than going to just a big box store or something sure. where it's less expensive and they sure. can just grab something off sure. the shelf? Most of the things we built have never been built before. Um, if you want something that's got character, um, is unique, really typifies your brand, um, your sales points for the client, or you're just your closely held beliefs, that's what we do here. And it's cool because nobody knows who we are. Our name won't be on anything. We don't wave a flag. Uh, we don't even have a flag. But You have a logo. We do have a logo, but we don't have a flag. We should get a flag, I guess. 
That's what's exciting to me is that people are now investing in their space mm -hmm. and that it really is indicative of where the industry is going, that people are saying we don't want to just come in, slap some paint on it and get some tables and chairs. We want to create a full experience. At the end of the day, we build fun spaces for people to spend time in. You can make it maybe more academic and high-minded than that. You could write a book about it. But really, we get to build cool stuff most of the time, most days. And that's fun.